Hey everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get a PS2 emulator on your iOS device. This is the complete version, giving you access to all your favorite retro games right on your phone. I'll take you through each step, making sure the process is smooth and easy to understand. Make sure to stick around for the entire video so you don't miss any crucial steps. Before we get started, let's go through a couple of essential steps. First, open your device settings and go to General. Tap on Background App Refresh, and make sure that either Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and mobile data is enabled. This setting allows the app to update and function properly in the background. Next, go back to the Settings menu and select Battery. Ensure that Low Power Mode is turned off. Disabling this option is important as it can affect the app's performance. Once you've completed these steps, you're ready to proceed with the app installation. Let's get started. Once you have completed the initial checks, we can proceed. Open your browser and navigate to tweakoapp.com, a trusted site that hosts various modded applications. Search for PS2 emulator and select it from the results. A detailed page will appear with information such as the number of downloads and community ratings. Click on the Download Now button and the system will begin downloading and installing the app. This process is quick and you should soon see a confirmation message indicating a successful installation. If the message doesn't appear, it might mean the server needs updating and additional files need to be downloaded. Don't worry, this step is straightforward with clear instructions provided on the screen. Once this step is completed, the system will download the necessary files and the installation will be finalized. I've already installed it myself and everything works seamlessly. And that's it. Thanks for sticking around until the end of the video. If you found it helpful and everything is running smoothly, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. If you run into any problems or have any questions, drop a comment below and I'll gladly help you out. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.